Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our FIFA rebuild. Uh, today we're going to be do, actually we're going to be doing Crystal Palace. Obviously we did the Arsenal rebuild um, a few days ago, so yeah, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, I think some some of you guys really enjoyed it as well. Yes, it was about half an hour long, so this one is probably going to be about half an hour long as well because it's Crystal Palace. So yeah, and uh, I'm going to basically set myself a few challenges as well to make it a bit more challenging instead of giving myself like a big amount of money for the club at Crystal Palace. I think where they you know their stage at, as a football club now um i want to you know give them a bit just a little bit of money like maybe like 50 mils to spend but yeah let's get right into it all right guys so here we go then the chris palace rebuild uh if you can't tell already i, I have a i've had a fresh trim look look at this trim what would you guys think of it um i don't think it's great to be honest i actually ditched my hairdresser who i go to all the time to go to this new guy called uh, ozan um yeah he's turkish and uh he's he's my man's done this to me. Uh, I think it's it could have been worse, but uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, I got a line going down there. Can't really see it, but yeah, let's get on to FIFA and uh, Crystal Palace career mode. Uh, we're gonna start off by just looking at what they expect us from. What what do they expect from this season? Do they expect us to stay up? Do they expect us to get a Europa League? Do they expect us to win the FA Cup? Let's find out before we do get into any transfers and selling players. Um, so 78.3 uh, 35 million I've decided to give us and the objectives is to win the uh, reach the last 16 of Emirates FA Cup that is quite easy uh, finish mid table that is completely fine yeah I think we can do that in this first season now we're going to go straight to the squad hub to have a look at all the players that we do have at the moment now we've got our main goalkeeper Jack Button's a very good goalkeeper and I think I'm going to keep him you know, just for this at the moment, just as number uh, one, because even though he is lower rated than Hennessy, I think we should play uh, Butland. Obviously, we've got uh, Guto as well. He's 80 rated. He's the highest goalkeeper. So between you know him and and they got Henderson, who I'm, out, who I'm probably going to loan this because we don't need four goalkeepers. Van Aan, whole his contract is expiring in 12 months. I mean, he's all right. Uh, I'll probably prefer to play Mitchell. He's 20 years old. He's he's really, he's got quality potential as well. He's a good player. We've got way too many left backs as well. Another guy who I'm gonna, you know, sell from the club. We've got a few on loan. Scott Dan, he's just he's really experienced, but for me, you know, his contract's expiring. He's 33. Uh, Saka ain't that great. We definitely need some centre. Oh, we yeah, we we need some centre backs for sure. Uh, Gary Hale, somehow still here. Um, Joe Walls again, right back. He's decent, but he's getting old. Ferguson. Uh, Nathaniel Klein here, jeez. This guy, he, he is 18, I'm gonna loan this him as well. We're gonna keep this guy, keep him. This, uh, Mikovejic is a decent player, he, he, he's a captain. Uh, Jeffrey Slup, he's alright, I guess. Eze, really got, he, he's really talented, this guy. Uh, MacArthur, he's alright. This guy here, yeah, I'm gonna loan this him. Townsend's decent. Uh, obviously, you've got Zaha, Jordan Ayu, Bachuayi, Connor Wickham, and Benteke. So, we've got a decent attack, to be fair. Um, I'm going to definitely sort out. I mean, the the front three could be better, but Zaha, I'm happy with. You've got the last of Benteke, Townsend. Uh, where's Eze? Eze is. Where's Eze? Oh, he, he's playing here. So he's a left winner. I don't really like his formation. I, I, I'm gonna play a. F oh, I'm gonna play like four three three like this. Put Eze as number ten. I'm gonna go with Zaha, uh, Benteke, and then Townsend with Eze playing in behind them. Mikovevich and here we go. Redwell. Uh, we go. We go Nathaniel Klein for now. Qra. Gary Kale for the experience. We're gonna go with Jack Butland in goal. We're gonna go with oh they've got they've got this guy here he's, he's meant to be decent ain't he so yeah we're gonna go uh, Mitchell playing there and I think that's gonna be the squad for now but now we've obviously still got quite a lot to do in terms of signings now a few players that I will need to sign I'm gonna short this now guys and then come back to you when I you know have them so guys as you can see here uh, I shorted this bunch of players that I think we could sign uh, Balogun as a striker maybe. Um, obviously Eric Conza from Aston Villa, 
can play centre back and right back. James Tarskowski from Burnley, Serge Aurier from Spurs, uh, Maury from Dortmund, and Jonathan Tarr. Now, I really do want to get Tarr because I think he's a decent player, uh, and I think it would really improve our centre back a lot. So maybe we can put him alongside another signing. But yeah, we're gonna see how much he is. He's 24. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in. I would presume he's probably around about 24 mil, maybe. I'm just gonna go with that. To see if they accept it. Okay, they did. See, because because uh, I think he's I don't know. He's he's accepted. It's 24 million. Is that a bit too much for him? I just a bit too. I think I was scared just in case they you know walk out if I don't you know should be priced. But yeah, we're gonna go with a crucial rope on uh, Jonathan Tarr. And accept that, that is all good. Police clause, can we deny it? Okay, uh, okay, that's fine. And we sign our first uh, sign in Jonathan Tarr. Welcome to Crystal Palace. He'll go into centre back. Uh, and I will be going with uh, his partner in Eric Konza from Aston Villa. So that is who we're going to go with. Offer 15 mil for him. Is that too less? I think that is. 27. Well, that, that's going to take all our money. Okay, uh, we'll go 17. 27. Right, uh, let's go for player swap then. We'll play a swap, you can I? Okay. Alright, so he help, he's happy with the player swap, which is good. I think someone's at my house, you know. Oh no, they're not. Don't, don't, don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry. I, I don't understand how he's player swap can I when he's that lower value. Oh my god, I just realised. <laughs> I literally accepted the money as well as one of the player swap. That is just stupid for me. That is stupid. I guess they're gonna be our two main signings, and then I'm gonna, you know, because I I think our main importance is the two centre backs for now, because our two centre backs are just yeah not great. So yeah, we've got Konza and Jonathan Tarr signing. Now I'm gonna go for Maury as you know playing as a right back because I think we need a right back. I think left back's decent, midfield's alright. Maybe maybe a partner's goal alongside Mikhailovich. Um, so I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go 12 million for Mori. Yeah, that should be all good. Yeah, he's funny. Remember, decent right back as well. Um, so I want to sign him. Three decent signings so far. Um, crucial role. Uh, a five-year deal. Okay. God, uh, 19 million for him, that is fine. There we go then, we've got Maury as well. Can we loan Balogun? We can, we're going to get Balogun on a loan deal as well. So that should be good, hopefully he'll want to join us, I'm sure it would if he wants to get... Oh, hello Mikhail! <laughs> Mikhail wants it, man. Uh, we'll go loan to buy. That sounds p practical, we are happy, <laughs> even on FIFA he speaks like PR. Okay Mikhail, okay Mikhail, okay. Thank you so much, Miguel. My uh, my chart batteries, guys. This is great. This is great, great start. It's what happens when you pay, uh, pay one pound from a charity shop in Poundland for these batteries? You know they they run out instantly. Oh well, Miguel, you have to wait. Uh, we're gonna go two year because why not? Uh, certainly, we're happy to have Balogun gone to two year. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we we'll, we'll go fifty fifty. Thank you, Mikel. Alright. So we've signed Balogun as well. Oh, wait, no, we have not yet. We, we've got to wait for his response yet. But no, yeah, I'm quite happy with that so far. You know, we've signed f four, pretty much almost four players. And they're really good ones as well. So, yeah, John, John, uh, Jonathan Tarr comes in. Konza comes in. Straight away, our defence is so much improved. Uh, Mori will come in as well. We, we could play, I guess, Van on. I guess Van Aert, if, 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 if you want to go for like the uh, rating, I think this is quite decent. Jack Button and then goal. 
I need someone to go on the side there. We're going to maybe put Balogun up top. We could put even Batuayi up there. And I think that is a decent looking squad so far. You know, we've made some... Fr now, all I need now is really like that CDM. And I think we're, we're ready to go. So, I'm going to sim a lot. Uh, and I'm going to sim past pre-season to see if Balogun is going to sign. And if he does, then that will be good. And I can move on to sign in my CDM. And then we'll be ready to start simming the season. So... Yeah, I'll let you know what happens, guys. So, guys, we've got two CDMs here. We've got uh, Vikeno from Insight and Tyler Adams. I'm going to go Tyler Adams because he is very young. He's 21 and I think he'll be decent alongside an experience playing Mikhailovic. So, you want to go Tyler Adams as probably our final signing until January if we do need to make any signings. He shouldn't be lower than... He shouldn't be higher than... 30 mil, 13 mil, 16 they won. No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not happening, mate. You will get 14. That's all, that's all my money gone, so they better accept it. Oh, for God's sakes. No, just, just no, mate. Yeah, no. Alright, come on. You gotta accept this now. Thank you. We've accepted it. And that's my money gone. So yeah, Silent so Adams is our final signing. Um, that's why I'm when I set myself a challenge to give him uh, our 78 million. You know, we sign these players. So I know it may not sound good, but for me, I think it's gonna really help a lot. Uh, we're gonna give him a four year deal for that one. Uh, no release clause, that is fine. And then the wages is fine as well. Here we go. Our final signing, guys, Tyler Adams has signed for Crystal Palace. So now I'm going to sort out my squad uh, for the season. Hopefully, we'll be able to maybe get Euro, um, Europa League. Cause I think that will be decent. Uh, so yeah, Adams goes in, straight away improves it. Look at this squad. We've got Butlin in goal, Maury, Tar, Konza, Van Aanholt, Adams, Mikhailovic, Eze, uh, Townsend, Batshuayi, and Wolf and Zaha. I think that's class. Hopefully, Crystal Palace can do a lot better. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to sim. Uh, where are we going to sim? So we're going to sim. Uh, we'll go to the 1st of October, So and I'll give you guys an update then. So guys, uh, we're in October right now and we're 14, 7 points we've picked up, uh, hasn't been a great start to be honest, but we have played teams like Man City, we've got Spurs next, um, yeah, we've lost 4 games, drew 1, we've only won 2, uh, I mean, we're not that far away from mid-table, so, anyway, uh, let's get in, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the Cabo Cup as well, um, did we get knocked out or did we make it through? Uh, we are actually in, let's find out. We're in, I think this is the last 16. We're in the round of 16, we've got Arsenal. Yeah, we're, we're, we're playing Arsenal in the round of 16. I've got a feeling we could actually win. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sim all the way to, to uh, January now, guys. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. So, guys, we've reached January now. And a quick update, obviously, we are against Wolves in the FA Cup uh, so let's take a look and see what happens in the league obviously Cabo Cup sign off with that we are not in the semi-finals not in the quarter-finals we actually got knocked out by Arsenal on penalties 1-1 and they beat us 4-3 on penalties so I'm not that too disappointed in the Premier League though we are okay we're top 10 that's mid-table I'm, I'm really happy with that we joined ninth. you know not that far away from Seventh, to be honest, we could actually change for Europe. So, if we keep winning, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. We we, we may have lost nine games, but no, I think we're avoiding relegation, which is good. And just get a few wins together, we could actually do something. So yeah, I'm quite happy that we are top ten, which is decent. So, yeah, now hopefully we can get a little run on the FA Cup. I'm gonna see them all the way. So March and let you guys know what happens. So yeah, decent first season so far. So 
so guys, update in March, we're still near enough one point, two points of Chelsea, which is unbelievable. Um, now the FA Cup we're doing superb in as well. Follow me. Uh, we're in the quarterfinals and we've got Bristol City. So, uh, sorry, I just heard something. I thought, what? Uh, yeah, so we've got Bristol City. So I think if we win that, we and if we win the FA Cup, the whole entire thing, we could actually get, um, you know, Europe. So instead of doing it by the league, we can get it from Europe. So yeah, we're going to try and focus on that. But the league as well, we can try and get a good place. But yeah, I'm really happy. So let's, I'm going to see all the way to the end of April to see what's going on. So guys, we have made it to the semi-finals of the FA Cup, and this is our only way to get in Europe because the league. I'm sorry to say, but I haven't really checked the league, you know, the table yet for the first season. But we're going to check it out anyway. We're we're still eleventh, unbelievable, and we're we, we okay. You, yeah, Europe's over, but I am quite happy with this. I'm quite happy with this. Eleventh is decent, you know. We ain't getting relegated, that's for sure. So. And the mid-table was our target, and to reach around the 16 of the FA Cup was our target, and we've done that. And if we win uh, the FA Cup, then we get uh, Europa League. So I'm going to probably play this game off camera, and then I'm going to let you guys know how we get on. Hopefully, we get to the final, and yeah, I'm going to obviously be playing the final as well. So yeah, uh, hopefully we win and get Europe. Guys, I've bottled it. Three-two to Chelsea. Unbelievable. We got two 0 up here. Zaha in the in the eighth minute. Benteke in, in the eighty third. Yeah, two 0 game over. No, no. Weghorst goes down the other end, gets a goal, and then one of scores to make it two two. Extra time, they score in the last minute. That is just the definition of of, of pain. That is painful. Yeah, we're we're at the FA Cup, and we're also doomed in the Premier League as well. So um. We would play Man United in the final. The, it, it would have been the repeat of the FA Cup 2016 final, but <sighs> that is the definition of pain. Can we, can, can we get Europe from now on? No. No. We can get tenth still, but ninth, eighth, just not. Yeah, it's just, just not there, is it? So, don't know if. It's, I may do another season. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you guys do want me to do a part two of this, where I do continue the next season. I'm I'm just gonna sim just to see where we did go in the league, just to see how well we did. But yeah, if you guys want me to do a part two of this, then I'll be happy to do so. Yeah, sim and let's wait and see. So guys, in the league, we finished tenth. I'm I'm happy with that. Mid mid table, and told us to get to last sixteen. We finished our objectives, but I will be ending the video here. Before we do end it though. I want to go to my squad and I'm going to check uh, just to see, you know, how the stats did. Jack Butland made uh, 17 appearances. Uh, only kept one clean sheet. Uh, this guy, our main choice, kept clean, six clean sheets. Mitchell got an assist for us. Van Hart uh, and Holt got zero. But, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, Saka didn't play that much. Gary, Gary Cahill played 18 games and actually scored two goals. Konza didn't do a lot. Target he's got one assist. Uh, Klein got an assist. Mori got a goal and an assist. Uh, oh, uh, Taylor Adams played 45 games of goal and five assists. Could have been worse. Mikhailovic played five goals and two assists. Eze decent season, ten goals and eight assists. Yeah, I thought I thought he was class. MacArthur got a goal. And assists. Townsend scored nine goals and four assists. Ain't that bad. Zaha, 49 appearances, 13 goals and six assists. Really good. Balogun played seven games, didn't score, didn't do much. Ayu played eight, uh, scored eight and a goal, uh, and assists. Sorry. Benteke, 29, 11, three got uh, three assists. That is really good. And then Conan Wickham, as well. Uh, I think Batchway actually left. I don't know. I know he's he's, he's come back from from his own deal, but yeah. That I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, we'll be doing another. Maybe, maybe if you guys want me to do a part two of this for next season, and comment some players I should sign down below um, because I thought I, I thought it was a decent scene to finish in the top ten for Palace and almost get to the final if we didn't bottle it right at the end. But yeah, bye guys, watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.